Good evening. This is CTV News from Monday, April 29th. I'm Patricia Vallone. Glad to have you with us tonight. Well, County Executive Rashern Baker says the wheels are already in motion in the search for the next Prince George's Schools Chief. You may recall last week interim superintendent Dr. Alvin Crawley announced he will be leaving on June 3rd instead of June 30th. Baker says he appreciates Crawley's work. The county executive says he's had a number of conversations with Governor Martin O'Malley and the state school superintendent and hopes to have a permanent person in place soon. I'd love to have a permanent superintendent in place uh, by June th uh, 30th or, or July 1st. Um, but certainly, you know, we're going to move as quickly as possible, but we're going to make sure that we pick the best person possible, the chair and vice chair of the school board uh, today. And so they're going to uh, give us as much information as possible on the search that they've done. Meanwhile, more than a dozen residents have applied for positions on the new expanded school board. I'm pleased to see that so many people are very interested in coming on and helping us and augmenting what the board is already doing. So I feel that we're moving ahead. Certainly, I have some concerns. Um... And the application deadline to apply for a seat on the school board is May 10th. Well, two motorcycle officers are rushed to a shock trauma center with injuries. The officers who are with the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Department and Montgomery County Police were riding on Paint Branch Parkway in College Park just before noon today. Authorities say one of the men lost control of his motorcycle. When the other tried to stop and help, he also crashed. Both officers suffered non-life-threatening injuries. A Prince George's County Police spokeswoman says the incident is being investigated. At this time, it's not clear if the slick roads played a role in the accidents. Well, a Prince George's police officer is lucky to be alive tonight after a car crash. The incident happened about 2 a.m. this morning on Route 1 near Conti Road. Authorities say Matthew Volono, a two-year veteran, lost control of his marked SUV and hit a curb. The vehicle then flipped and hit a light pole, which then fell on several parked cars. Firefighters had to cut Volono out of the vehicle. Surprisingly, the officer only suffered minor injuries. Weather and speed are both considered to be factors in the accident. Well, officials say a Bladensburg police officer who died in a two-car crash this weekend committed suicide. Officer Brian Johnson, a nine-year veteran of the department, apparently shot himself in his marked car in Pasadena on Saturday. Police say his cruiser then crossed a median and struck another vehicle that was traveling in the opposite direction. The driver of the other car was treated on the scene and released. Johnson was also a member of the Bladensburg Volunteer Fire Department. Well, the Justice Department has written two letters to the U.S. District Court in Maryland supporting the constitutional rights of citizens arrested for filming on-duty police officers. Our Tahira Chrisman is in the newsroom with more on how state and local police officers are trained to respond to such cases. With the advancement of technology, it's so easy to snap a photo or get a film just by, hey, picking up your cell phone. But when that action involves an on-duty police officer, that's when things start to get a little tricky, even though the Department of Justice has said that this is totally constitutional and protected by our First Amendment rights. Just last month, the Department of Justice sent a letter to the U.S. District Court in Maryland supporting the rights of a freelance photographer who was arrested in Montgomery County after he photographed police officers using excessive force while arresting two men. You may also recall a 2010 incident where a man was detained by Baltimore City Police after videotaping officers arresting a man at the Preakness. Now, taking these incidents into consideration, we spoke with Prince George's and Maryland State Police to see if they have any policies against the filming of an on-duty police officer. Both departments say as long as the filming does not interfere with an ongoing arrest or violate a crime scene, the action is permissible. We also asked if officers at both the county and state level know about the policy, and we were told that officers go through training and know the rules. Now, according to the Prince George's Police Department, there have been no record of current issues regarding this, but they say they will definitely keep their eyes open. For now, I'm Tahira Chrisman in the newsroom. Back to you in the studio. Montgomery County has filed a motion to dismiss the case regarding the photographer, saying the case is based on opinions. 
Well, a Howard University student and former Marine Alonzo Guyton was gunned down near a Mount Rainier apartment building nearly two years ago. Today, the two men charged in the case go on trial for first-degree murder. Lorenzo Carlton and Michael Jordan allegedly shot and killed Guyton in an early morning incident on October 25, 2011. Guyton was a freshman music major at Howard.